and our top focus in Vienna this hour. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken is on a three-day visit to West Asia. The visit comes at a time when violence continues to sweep across Israel. The top U.S. diplomat aims to tone down the Israel-Palestinian tensions. Blinken will be heading to Jerusalem today, where he will hold talks with the new administration in Israel, which includes the ultra-nationalist parties that want to expand the West Bank settlements. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's new right-wing government has stirred concern over the future of Israel's secular values and the ongoing deadlock over peace talks with Palestinians. During his visit, Blinken is also expected to reiterate Washington's support for a two-state solution. The U.S. Secretary of State will also travel to Ramallah to meet with the Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas, where he will again be calling for broader steps to de-escalate tensions in the region. Now, tensions have escalated, especially after a gunman on Friday killed seven people outside a synagogue in Jerusalem, marking its deadliest terror attack in over a decade. Blinken, just a while ago, also met with the Egyptian president, Abdel Fattah el-Sisi, where the two leaders discussed regional issues such as Libya and Sudan. On day one of his three-day trip to West Asia, he met with the Egyptian youth leaders as well and emphasized on how he wanted to strengthen Washington's strategic partnership with Egypt. As we're looking at the partnership between the United States and Egypt, a strategic partnership that is of great consequence to the United States, we know that going forward that partnership ultimately is going to be built and sustained and strengthened by the people here today and the people that you represent. For more on this, our correspondent Jody Cohen is joining us live from Jerusalem. Hi Jody, welcome to the broadcast. Hi Rahisa. Now just a while ago, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken met with the Egyptian President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi. What's the latest? What were some of the key takeaways from the meeting? Right, so he's been in Egypt as part of the start of his visit to West Asia. And just now, as you said, he met with President el-Sisi, where they largely discussed Egyptian-U.S. relations. And also, America is very interested in developing this regional coordination, regional relations. Um, Egypt clearly has a very key role to play in that. They're a strong player in the region. And uh, in the past, when it comes to um, conflicts like the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, for example, they played, played a key role in liaising between the two uh, governments, the two administrations. Um, as you said, they'll also be playing a role with other countries in the region like Sudan and Libya. Um, Blinken will be, then be going on to meet with the foreign minister as well before travelling on to Israel around lunchtime local time today. Right, Judy, so much has already happened over the past few days when it comes to the Israel-Palestinian conflict. Violence is raging in West Asia. Are we looking at a new intifada or a Palestinian uprising at the moment? So right now, as you can see where I am, it is very peaceful. I am standing between the old and the new city at the point between East and West Jerusalem and by the holy sites, which really are at the heart of this conflict. If you just look over the last few days, so much has happened. It started with Netanyahu going for his first trip abroad to Jordan, where he was trying to ease the tensions ahead of Ramadan in March. We then saw Israel's operation in Jenin, which Israel said was to thwart multiple and major terror attacks. And that led to the deadliest day in the Palestinian Authority in years. The Palestinian Authority then threatened to stop security coordination with Israel, we saw rockets fired from right. Gaza into Israel. We saw Israel sorties targeting Hamas sites in Gaza. We've seen terror attacks over the weekend, which has now led to the deadliest day for Israelis since 2008. The Israeli security cabinet has now been considering its response uh, to the attacks, but also it says to the celebrations that it's seen on the Palestinian streets of the attacks. They're going to be looking at steps to try to deter further um, attacks, such as strengthening settlements, as you said. And meanwhile, Anthony Blinken is expected to arrive at lunchtime today to give a statement upon arrival, and he will be looking to try to restore the security coordination between Israel and the Palestinian Authority.
Right, Julia, I was just coming to that, that Blinken's visit uh, to West Asia had been planned for a while now. It has now gained urgency. He just met with the Egyptian president and now he will be headed to Jerusalem and Ramallah. What can be expected from Blinken's visit? So when he lands, he will be giving a statement um, at around 2.30, it's expected, Israel time. Uh, we then know that he's going to be going on to meet with Prime Minister Netanyahu, presumably at the Prime Minister's office, and with Foreign Minister Eli Cohen, where he'll also be giving statements there. And then this evening, he'll be meeting with President Herzog. And then Tuesday, he's expected to travel on to Ramallah for meetings with Palestinian Authority President Biden, uh, President Abbas, excuse me, and meeting with senior officials from the Palestinian Authority. Top of the agenda, as you said, this was a pre-planned visit. There's going to be a lot on the agenda. But top of the agenda right now between Israel and the Palestinians will be looking to ease the conflict and ease tensions. Thank you, Jody, for getting us up to speed on this. Thanks very much.